but takes away the performance. <laughs> Tap there, well, much drink may be said to be an equivocator with Lexi. It makes him, but it mocks him. It sets him off. <laughs> that sets him off. It persuades him, but then disheartens him. Makes him stand to and not stand to. In conclusion, that uh, equivocates him in a sleep and giving him the lie leaves him. I believe it didn't get either lie last night. That he did so. He went head the very throat on me. But I acquitted him for his heart, and I think being too strong for him. So he uh, my legs sometimes. But I made a sheet to pass him. It's Sky Master Story. Right. I'm not going to get a wait then. Here it comes. But not for the sun. Tomorrow, I love. There's a king staring with me. Yes. Did he command me to put time on him? I've always set the hour. I'll bring you to him. And let's just enjoy it. What's up with you? Yeah. This one. The lady that opened the light in the physics pen. Here's the door. I'll make some boards go. Oh, it is my limited service. Goes to the king hands today? Yeah, I'll see you at the point, sir. The next thing I brewed it will be late. Our chimneys were gone down and, as they say, lamenting certainly as yes, strange screams of death, with accents terrible of dire combustion and confused events. New hatch to the woeful time, the obscure bird clever the life of night. <coughs> Some say the earth was feverous, and it did shake. It was a rough night. My young moments may not parallel the fellow to it. Oh, horror. Horror. Horror! Sorry, my heart cannot conceive you on the end What's the matter? Confusion now, I've made this masterpiece. Most sacrilegious murder. It's broken. The Lord's light is simple. It's stolen. It's stolen. It's the light. What is to say, the light? In your majesty. Approach it and destroy yourself with a new book. Do you not believe this? Sing! And then sing yourself! Awake! Awake! Bring me an hour bell! Murder! Treason! Murder! Murder! Don't obey! Look! I can see the great doom's image! Take off this journey, sleep. Death counts! Your old father's murdered. Oh. Hi, Brooke. Those of his chambers, it seemed to have done. Their hands and faces were batched with blood. So were their daggers, which I would be found under their pillows. They started were distracted. No one's life was to be trusted with them. Oh, yet I do repent to me of my fury that I did kill them. Wherefore did you stir them? Who can be wise, amazed, temperate and furious, loyal and neutral in a moment? Oh man, the expedition of my violent love outrun the pause of reason. Here lay Duncan, his silver skin laced with his golden blood and his gashed stabs looked like a breach in nature. There, the murtherers most unmannerly breached with gore. Could refrain that had a heart to love, and in that heart, courage to make love known. Why do we hold our tongues supposed to make this argument for us? 
What should be spoken here are our fate hidden over whole my Russian Caesars. Let's away. Our tears are not yet brewed. Nor our strong sorrow upon the foot of motion. Look to the lady. When our naked frailty is hid that suffering exposure, let us meet and question this most bloody piece of work to know it further. Fears and scruples shake us. In the great hand of God I stand, and thence the undivulged pretense I fight, treasonous and malice. And so do I. So all. Let's briefly put on manly readiness and meet in the hall together. Well consented. What will you do? Let us not consort with them. To show an unfelt sorrow is an offence which the false man does easy. All to England. To Ireland, I. Our separated fortunes will keep us both the safer. Where we are, there's daggers in men's smiles. The nearer blood, the nearer blood. This murderous shaft that shot hath not yet lighted. And our safest way would be to avoid the aim. Therefore to horse. And let us not be dainty of leave-taking, but steal away. There's warrant in that theft that steals itself, when there's no mercy left.